Do 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 play castle. Play castle. Hello everyone. Today we're going to read Playtown, a lift the flap book. This is one of my very, very favorite books. It's super colorful. It's got over 70 flaps and kids just love this book. Let's take a look. Welcome to Playtown. Playtown is a very busy place. There is lots to see with many different places to visit and people to meet. Each person has an important job to do to make the town work. Let's go and explore Playtown. Going to the store. This is the main shopping street in Playtown. People come here to buy all sorts of things from tasty food to eat to fun toys to play with. It is also a great place to meet friends. Let's look inside Sally's pets. Let's see. Oh, wow. This is Sally's pets. There are lots of different animals to see in her store, making it a favorite place for the children of Playtown to visit. They love to play with the kittens and puppies, as well as look at the exotic lizards and snakes. Today, there is a lot of excitement as an enormous snake has been delivered. Look at that long green snake. He has been rescued and is looking for someone to look after him. It takes both George and Charlie to carry the snake upstairs to his new home. Let's look inside Anna's Italian Deli. Anna's Italian Deli sells food from Italy. Luigi, who works in the store, is very proud of his fruit and vegetable garden. He grows lovely produce, which people come from all over Playtown to buy. Look at the garden. Wow, and the fruit trees. Let's look above Anna's Italian Deli. In Grandma Green's home, her cat Ginger wants to play with Pete the parrot. Oh dear, I'm not sure if that's such a great idea. So Grandma Green must live in the apartment above this store, above the deli. Grandma Green is having a morning nap. We won't disturb her. Let's take a look inside Baker Lou Breads, Pastries, and Cafe. It says, in the kitchen at Baker Lou, Louisa and Michael bake all different types of breads and cakes. Today, they are making bread rolls. Michael is kneading the dough, while Louisa cuts and rolls it into round balls ready to bake in the oven. Yum! Let's look above Baker Lou. Open the windows. Wow! It says here, in Baker Lou, Louisa has baked an extra special birthday cake for Natalie's birthday party. All her friends and family have joined her to sing happy birthday. Let's take a peek inside Tom's toys. So this is Tom's toys. Let's lift the flap. It says inside, Tom makes and repairs toys for his customers. Today he is fixing a toy train for his grandson, John. That's so cute. Look at the little train he's building, he's fixing. That's neat. And let's look above Tom's toys. Ooh, above Tom's toys, Tom's grandchildren, Una and John, are playing together. They look like they're having lots of fun. It must be nice to have a grandfather who works in a toy shop.
Playtown train station. This is the busiest place in Playtown with people coming and going all day long. The station is full of stores and places to eat while people wait. Let's take a look in the sushi restaurant. In the sushi restaurant, food moves around on a conveyor belt for people to pick up the dishes they want. The meals are perfect for travelers who don't have much time. Let's take a peek inside this luggage. Hmm. Let's see what's in this one. Jen is off on vacation. <gasps> this little kitty cat must be named Jen. Ah, she's so happy in there. Let's look inside this one. What do you think is in here? Now this looks to me like a bird cage. Do you think it's a bird cage? Let's see. <gasps> Squawk! It is a bird cage. There's a parrot inside there. I guess he's going on a trip. Let's take a little peek inside the taxi. Grandma Pretty is visiting her son in London. And it looks like she's knitting something in the back seat of the taxi. Why don't we look in this blue taxi? Open the door. Pilot Brad is going to Playtown Airport. There he goes. Ready for his next flight. Let's see what's inside this suitcase. <gasps> it's a snake. Oh my goodness, what a surprise. Were you expecting a snake to be inside the suitcase? Not me. I wonder what's inside the ticket booth. Buying tickets can be confusing, but the friendly staff at Playtown train station are there to help. Hurry up, Francesco, you'll miss your train. He better run fast. Look at the cute little doggy. Let's see what there is to see in the Playtown newsstand. Let's take a look. <gasps> Inside the newsstand, there are lots of things to buy. There are postcards to send to friends and maps to help people find their way around. At the control center, the team is making sure trains arrive and depart the station on time. They are a busy team. They're hard at work. Let's take a look at the train. Alan is the driver of the train. Passengers are ready for the train to move on its way. One of them has fallen asleep. Oh my goodness, he must be super tired. Ted the fare inspector is checking the passengers' tickets. I think there's a funny one coming up. Shut the door! Oh, sorry. We will. We didn't mean to interrupt you in the washroom. You should have locked the door. This is the baggage compartment where luggage and large items like bicycles are kept. All aboard! Emergency! When the people of Playtown need help, they call the emergency services. These brave men and women race to the rescue whatever the problem and wherever the emergency is. Let's take a look at the police station. 
In the police station, officers Angus and Summer are helping Grandma Green. Her parrot is missing. She is very worried. I wonder if they can help her. Let's look in the police car. Pete the parrot is in the car with Inspector Jamie. Yay! They found Grandma Green's parrot. Hooray! And let's take a look above the police station. Let's see what's in there. The police look after stolen property until the owners collect it. Bad burglar Phil is locked up after he was caught stealing jewelry. Oh no. He was locked up in jail. Let's take a little peek into the Playtown Fire Station. Inside the fire station control room headquarters, Sam, Gabriel, and Rose are always ready for emergencies. They answer calls from people in need, then direct the emergency team to help them. And there's the fire truck. Let's take a closer peek at the fire truck. Firefighter Max is checking the breathing equipment. So where does this one open up? Hmm. Oh, right there. This compartment is where all the fire equipment is kept. It has everything the firefighters need in an emergency. Let's take a look above the fire station. <gasps> Firefighter North is catching up on the local news in the Playtown Times. I think we should close the window and not disturb him anymore. What about you? I think he needs some privacy. Above the fire station, some of the fire crew are relaxing between emergencies with a game of pool. They are on call at all times, so they must stay alert. Firefighters Henry and Rupert are sleeping after a busy night shift. Officer Oliver is training. He's sliding down the fire pole as fast as he can. Off to work! There are lots of different companies working in Playtown Business Park. There is an auto repair store, a cafe, a construction site, and even a children's book publisher. And look, it just happens to be Pretty Books, the people who made this book. New buildings are also being constructed. Let's take a look in the auto repair shop. Eloisa and Samson are fixing a car. They have lots of tools to help them. In the auto repair shop, people are waiting for their cars to be repaired. They're, they're having their cars fixed. Let's peek inside the cafe. The cafe is always busy at noon when the office workers come in for their lunch break. Claire and Jennifer work at Pretty Books and have come here for coffee and a chat. Let's look at the construction site. It looks like they're building a tall building. Let's see. A new building is being constructed in Playtown. 
architect Roger and Emma the construction manager are making sure everything is going to plan. Let's peek inside the pretty books fan. New books are on their way to the bookstores. Oh, I love new books. Let's take some peeks inside the pretty book publisher. A new book is being printed and put together by the printing team. They are very fast and skilled at their jobs. The publishers are thinking of ideas for new books. That must be fun. They must be very creative. The creative team are writing and designing the books. I think it would be so much fun to work on a book. The production team are sourcing the materials to make the books. The sales team are presenting Pretty Book's latest ideas. Illustrator Dan has arrived at Pretty Book's with new artwork. The illustrator is the person that draws the pictures for the books. Bob works in the storeroom. He is packing up the books for the delivery van. Playtown Airport. At the airport. This is Playtown Airport. It is where the people of Playtown go to travel to faraway places for family vacations or business trips. Let's take a look inside the airport first. Here is the Cohen family checking in at departures for their vacation to sunny Barbados. Mom Debbie can't wait. I don't blame her. That sounds like so much fun. After check-in, it's time to go through security. There is a machine to scan people and x-ray luggage to check what's inside. The children are looking in the bookstore for something to read on the flight. Arrival passengers visit baggage control to pick up their luggage. It travels on a carousel, so bags are easy to spot. Ella can't find hers. Oh dear. This is passport control. The staff are checking who is traveling in and out of Playtown. cat in there with the luggage and the kitty cat has a hard hat on. Let's look inside the jet or the airplane. Pilot Paolo and co-pilot Kim are making their final checks before departure. Mara and Amy are unpacking the in-flight meals. The containers are lifted up by the food truck, then wheeled into the galley of the plane. Let's see how the airplane passengers are doing. 
everyone is really excited to be going on vacation. Before the plane leaves, all the passengers fasten their seat belts and get ready to go. Let's look in the hangar, which is like a big garage for airplanes. In the hangar, the plane is being checked and repaired by the maintenance crew. And look, there's even an airplane taking off. It says WizJet Air. And I wonder what's inside the control tower. Let's take a look. The control tower tells pilots when to take off and land. Super cool. Ooh la la, the Grand Hotel. When people are visiting Playtown or going out for dinner on a special occasion, the Grand Hotel is the perfect place. There is always lots going on. Let's look in the restaurant, the hotel restaurant. Let's see what's under the table. I see something sticking out. It looks like sausages. <gasps> Woof! Sausages! Oh no, the dog is stealing the sausages! Oh my goodness! Whose dog is that? I wonder what's inside the Playtown tour bus. These hotel guests are going on an organized tour of Playtown. Luca the bus driver knows everything there is to know about Playtown. That looks like lots of fun. Guests have a drink in the hotel bar. They're just relaxing, having a nice drink and chatting away. That sounds nice. Let's see what's behind this door. In the hotel lobby, Guests are greeted by Kaylee, the receptionist. She checks them into their rooms, making sure everyone is looked after. Very nice. Look at all the keys to the different rooms. Ma'am Meet, the hotel manager, is busy on the telephone. There he is. Florence, the junior chef, is delivering his lunch. Tito the busboy is storing luggage for guests that have checked out of their rooms. And there are the painters. They're up on this scaffold painting the walls. And I don't think they're... Oh yeah, someone's painting the window frame too. The walls and the window frames. Businessman Bill is having a nap after a long flight. This room is being redecorated. The walls are being stripped and new wallpaper is hung. Let's see what's going on over here. In the hotel elevator, Liam has realized his dog is missing. I remember seeing a dog in the hotel, do you? In the hotel restaurant? Remember he was stealing sausage? I wonder if that's Liam's dog. Pip is enjoying a nice soak in the bathtub. That sounds like something I like to do. Very relaxing. Let's look in here. The kitchen! The kitchen is one of the busiest places in the hotel. Head chef Dennis runs the kitchen cooking for guests in the restaurant next door. It is very hot and noisy in here. I'll bet it is. 
and let's take a peek at the very top of the hotel. Let's see what's up there. Angela and Rishi are cleaning the hotel room for the next guests to come and stay. They're getting the room all nice and fresh. I see a burglar up there and a burglar cat. Must try harder. This person's doing a workout in the gym. They're lifting heavy weights. Whoops. These guests are exercising and relaxing in the hotel swimming pool. The Playtown Zoo. For a fun day out, there is nowhere better than Playtown Zoo. Families love to come and see the amazing animals and learn all about how they live in the wild. Let's look inside the ticket booth. Barbie works in the gift store. She sells lots of toys and souvenirs from the zoo. That looks like a very fun store. You can find lots of fun things in there to play with. The zoo has a great cafe to stop for a snack after so much walking around. You can get food in there. They're eating their lunch. Let's peek inside the animal hospital. When their pets are unwell, the people of Playtown bring them to visit Vinny. There's an unusual patient today. Joe's pet snake is suffering from hiccups. In the animal hospital, Vinny the vet is operating on Patch the dog. He is sick and needs help to get better. Nurse Nicola is looking after the other animals. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. It is so much fun in the monkey and gorilla house. The gorillas love watching people as they come in to visit them. Let's check out the reptile house. It is very dark and hot inside the reptile house. Snakes, lizards, and turtles live in this warm environment. There's even a big crocodile swimming in the water. That looks exciting. Look at the little turtles. look in the petting zoo. Sarah, Elizabeth, and Hannah are visiting the petting zoo. Inside are lots of baby farm animals for children to feed and even cuddle. I think that would be one of my favorite parts of the zoo. What do you think? What about you? I love holding baby animals and cuddling them. They're so adorable. Let's look at the elephants. And look at the tropical birds too. Beautiful. Bigger animals who need more space to roam around are kept in larger enclosures. The elephants have just had a baby calf who is very playful. She's called Elsa. I wonder if they named her after Queen Elsa from... Ooh, look at the tall giraffe house. Let's see what giraffes we can find inside. <gasps> the giraffe house is really high. Inside live the tallest animals in the world. And look at the cute baby giraffe. I wonder if she's going to grow as tall as her mummy.
The end. Thanks for joining me and reading this awesome book, Playtown. Please don't forget to come and subscribe to my two YouTube channels, Katie's Bookshelf Classroom and Playcastle.